Hello, my name is Vanessa Kanaka Wetzel, and I'm going to show you how to turn on 3D buildings within Studio Style Components in addition to doing a little bit of data driven styling. So let's just dive in. So I'm starting on a monochrome light style to have a basic general light background map so that those buildings can really pop out. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in close enough to see the buildings on the map. In order to turn 3D buildings on, go over to the components panel on the left, click buildings, and then turn 3D buildings on as the toggle. And as you see, the 3D buildings have already immediately turned on at the click of that button. If you really want to see more of the 3D buildings and what kind of visual impact they can have, you can use this little arrow here, which is a pitch arrow that lets you move the map around. So you just move your mouse up and down and side to side, or if you have a trackpad, move your finger up and down and side to side, and you really can see the extent to which you can utilize 3D buildings in your map. And that's it for 3D buildings. And now we're just gonna dive into seeing how we can style these using the building height data. So in order to get there, you can go into the layers panel and search for the building data layer, or you can quickly click on the map and it'll show you what data is underneath there within the components, as well as the layers panel and build-in extrusions, and it'll just pop up with that data layers pane of information. So we're going to adjust the color based on the building's height. So we're gonna to go to color, and currently this is the automatic state it has from the built-in components that produce this color right here. So we're going to override it to allow ourselves to edit it. To edit the building height, we're gonna select style across data range, and we're going to select height, which is the attribute we're going to be adjusting. So Mapbox building height data is in meters, and I want this to be styled in a way that we understand buildings, and we think about buildings. So a story is about three meters, according to this Mapbox blog. So we're going to go ahead and think of a two and a half story building as about 7.5 meters. So we're gonna start with making a data value for zero height. So white can be 0% height or zero meters. And then we're going to add another stop for that value that makes us think of a regular size sort of house and type in 7.5 meters. And I'm gonna make this red and I'm gonna make it a bright red. And immediately on the map, you see this change. And I'm going to make the next value um, an even 100, which got 33 stories high. I'm gonna make this a dark blue because that's a little bit of an opposite color of red, but also still provides a sort of gradient in between that mixes well to create a color like purple. We understand that red and purple mix together. And so when we see purple on the map, we kind of immediately understand that it's an in-between state. Um, also, I'm going to override the opacity here so that we can see the 3D buildings a little more. So I'm gonna make that 0.95, and now we can kind of immediately see that difference there. I'm gonna go back to the color and make the final value um, a sort of catch-all for buildings that are just taller than a 33-story building. So here I'm making this 101 value uh, a really bright sort of blue, and this is going to capture 101 to the highest value, which is 1500. So we're gonna change this back to 101. And you can also see the data range up here as you change the color and as you change the numbers. So you can see if the gradient is going between 100 and 1500, or if I were to change this value, I can make this higher or lower. So maybe I wanna make it a thousand and you can just see the different gradients and what that means in terms of the numeric value. But I'm gonna change this back. So now I can just zoom out and see that Madison doesn't have that many tall buildings. If I go to New York City, then I can immediately see that New York has a lot more tall buildings that are above 33 stories, in addition to a lot of buildings that are in between, and there are still some buildings that are pretty short. And if I want to also see what buildings only are between these values, so currently it is a linear gradient, which means it is continuous, but if I want it to be discrete, 
I can change it to a step rate of change. And this means that everything between zero and 7.5 is white and everything between 7.5 and 100 is red and everything between 100 and 101 is blue and everything above 101 is that bright blue color and that's it. So that kind of is more of an extreme comparison in case you want to make that kind of extreme comparison. And you can see this is pretty stark compared to the linear. And that's it. That's all I have to show you today. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have fun creating 3D buildings on your map.